Hey guys, this is DK Spencer, and here's a bunch of likes. So, um, I like uh, I like lights. I'm not a big laser fan, uh, but people like them, so I mess with the uh, balders and stuff with lasers. But uh, my personal stuff, I don't mess with them a whole lot. Um, what I want to do with this video is to show you guys some different stuff and, uh, and compare them with each other. Um, actually, you know, shining them and whatnot. <laughs> so what we're looking at is a bunch of different Olights. So we've got the Balder S, we got the Balder Mini, we've got the, uh, PL Valkyrie 2, um, the PL Mini Valkyrie 2. Uh, we've got a Viridian, another Viridian, uh, LA Spur, Lost Spur, whatever you call those. We've got a Valkyrie Turbo. Um, one of these, which I'll put a link. A lot of people, had, the reason for this video is a lot of people were asking about these. So kind of uh, what started this video is to let you guys see one of these cheap ones compared to like some of these other ones. Uh, so I'll put a link to that. Don't know what you call it, <laughs> but uh, much cheaper than pretty much anything else on the on the thing here. Um, let's see. There's another Viridian. We got an Olight, uh, Odin. We've got a G series. Um, yeah, that's just another um, Balder Mini. And do, 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 do. I feel like I'm missing something. I probably am. I'll find something later. Anyway, all right, so uh, what we're going to do, first of all, I guess we're going to compare this thing. So let's go with, uh, <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what, a lot of people use, so so the uh, Kydex holster from Grimberg, if you want to use that, that works with uh, this comp and the Viridian laser. Okay, so there it is on a... PPQ. Not normally what I have on the PPQ, but I thought some people might enjoy seeing it. Um, it actually fits it very, very, very well. Like, really well. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So that's how it has to be set up for the, um, the Kydex holster that Grimberg offers. And that is a really good hole. I really like that holster. That I, if I'm carrying like open this and that holster most of the time. <clears throat> All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a Viridian and this guy. So that and that. All right, we're gonna see how this works. Here's my, my little phone target. My wife loves that. That is her favorite thing that I could ever put in the yard. Loves it. It matches all the other stuff that she puts in the yard. That's why she likes it. Alright. So. Right hand is going to be this guy. And it works just like a, a, a TLR. So, you know, you've got the click it and... If you hit it and like double tap it, basically you get your strobe. All right, so with, so, so, okay. So with this one, you got basically instant on. All right, see that? It's very bright and very economical compared to, you know, most of your Valkyries and, well, you can't even get a regular Valkyrie anymore, but. Um, but it works just like a TLR, so, you know, you can do the momentary on, instant on, or your strobe. Now, this is the Viridian. Whole different ball game. Now, of course, this does not have a laser. So the Viridian is definitely more of a floodlight. Not even in the ballpark with the S bright. So the way the Viridian works, you push both buttons at the same time and hold them together, hold them in to select it. So there's your strobe. There's just your laser with it flashing. Okay, hang on. <laughs>
Well, I can't get the color thing to change now for some reason. They are a little bit of a pain in the butt. Oh, I know what I'm doing. There we go. I was forgetting to let go when it cycled back through. So anyway, you hold both buttons at the same time um, and you can actually you, you just tap both buttons at the same time to cycle through your modes. So you can have, here we go, just a dot, a light and dot. You can have a strobe and a dot. You can have a strobing dot. You can have a strobing dot with just a light. Then you can have just a light with no dot. Or, you know, back to just the light. Now, when you have your light on, if you hold both buttons for a few seconds, there you go, it dims. And you can let go and do it again. Dims one more. One more time. And you're back to full power. So, you know, cycling through it, basically everything, you have to preset what mode, whatever. But... Viridian, whatever this cheap one is. Up in the woods. Viridian, you don't really see in the woods. Kind of lose it past the yard. All right. Okay, so I'm going to stick with the Viridian on this. And then this is the Lost Spur, whatever. There, there you go. It's that. So the way this works, you've got a button here, you push that button, that turns the light on. As long as your finger's on that, the light stays off. Once you move off this little pad, it's a sensor. You don't have to push it, it's just a sensor. So basically you can like go through clearing a room and when you drop back to your trigger, the light comes on. So, and then you push the button again to cut it off. <laughs> My favorite thing about it is the fact it's like when you cut it on, it has the like blue LEDs in the back, like it's some futuristic sci-fi, like, you know. <laughs> so I like that part about it. But anyway, uh, I think these two are pretty comparable as far as brightness goes. This one does not have a laser. This one does have two brightness settings and the way you access that is by, it's kind of hard to do, by holding in, <laughs> I'm hitting the sensor. But anyway, all right, you you turn it on and then you hold in the on button for a few seconds and it's got two different brightness settings. So, all right, so now we're gonna compare those two. Okay. Gonna this one on. So, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so this is the La Spur Viridian. Man, this is a good spot to try. Like I was trying to figure out a place. I didn't realize how cool this was because it just really shows you, like you can't even see it hit the trees, man. It's perfect. All right, good times. So both of these are, these are pretty much neck and neck. So, considerable price difference, I think. I just totally blinded myself. But, like, I'm telling you, like, like, a light is so much more important than a laser, seriously, especially if it's got a strobe. Okay, now, this one actually does have a strobe. I'm going to... I'm going to turn it this way so I can actually not have my finger over that sensor. Like I say, you don't have to push it. It's just, it feels you there. So, so, um, oh, I'm touching it on the other side. It's like, what's going on now? All right. So there you go. So hold the button in, dims it, brightens it back up, double tap it, strobe. Okay. Checks all the boxes. Rechargeable, not rechargeable. Um, easier to cycle through stuff, sort of, but has less stuff to cycle through. <laughs> all right, let's look 
get it on the Glock. These are all air guns. None of these are real firearms, by the way. Okay. All right. Something that I use a whole lot of Olights. Um, on a lot of the um, FSC bills and stuff, um, and, and like my Berna, I have a inside the pants holster that fits a, um, a Balder Mini. So the Balder S and the Balder Mini are almost identical, just a little bit difference in shape. I don't think we're going to find much difference in brightness. Um, but uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's go with the, with the standard Mini, the Balder Mini on my Berna and compare that to a Viridian. Okay, we've got the, uh, the Balder S on the Berna. So you can see it in the trees. And as we know, the Viridian barely. The Balder does have, I think it does have a, I think you actually can dim it in some way. Maybe, I can't remember. Anyway, all right, so there's that. All right, so we're done playing Viridian. <laughs> so let's compare the Balder Mini to the PL Mini Valkyrie 2. So this one does not have a laser. I love that light though. It's uh, more compact, but no laser. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's compare those two. All right, and go with the burn in the left hand with the Balder Mini. This is the uh, Valkyrie 2 Mini. Balder, Valkyrie Mini. Balder, Valkyrie. So the Balder's a uh, Balder's got a tighter beam. Not, I'm not saying that it's any brighter. It's just tighter. I like this. I like the uh, the uh, mini Valkyrie personally a lot. So uh, the way these work, it's got a switch on the bottom you slide, so you can either have it just the laser, light and laser, or just the light, and you can just click it back and forth, and it's right there. And also rechargeable. Um, these, these work really well. I like these. All right, so now let's come back to the, to the cheap one that we got off Amazon, and, uh, and the balder mini i hope i got that to, i hope i got that back where it was supposed to be but all right right hand's gonna be the uh the cheap one on the 50. oh very bright very bright yeah and then this is gonna be the olight balder mini The other one, Balder. <laughs> so the uh, yeah, cheap one from Amazon's uh, whooping its butt. And you know the big thing, <laughs> easy accessible strobe. That's hard to do left-handed on one of those. <laughs> I apologize if that thing was out of focus the entire time until now. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've said something like that. Well, let's quit beating around the bush. <clears throat> so I went ahead and put the TLR1HL on the uh, on the burner. 
This typically is on my other burner. I love this on my other burner with the big mag and the Mercy Less Lethal because it comes out the exact same length as the Mercy Less Lethal 12 gram adapter. That's a, it's a beast. But um, anyway, so that's basically what this is imitating. So let's check these two out together. Okay. 50 with the cheap one. The TLR. <laughs> I have to take my glasses off so I can even tell which one looks good. TLR's got a cleaner beam. Really doesn't. Yeah, this spills a lot compared to the TLR. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera or not, but that's a very, it's not that it's a tight beam. That's not what I'm saying. It's a clean beam. See what I'm saying? That's a clean beam. All right, here's the cheap one. See? It, and in per, like you can see it, but in person you can tell a whole lot better. No, I mean, does is that a problem? No. What are they going to do? Oh, uh, excuse me, sir, but uh, I'm not going to fall down from that less lethal uh, launcher because you don't have a very clean beam on your light. And in reality, the most important thing is that right there. You don't even have to shoot them. That right there. I'm telling y'all. Now, huh. TLR strobes better. Oh yeah, way better. Yeah, way faster. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's put the kids to bed. Let's get serious. This is the Olight PL Pro Valkyrie. So my favorite weapon light is the original PL2 Valkyrie, um, which are really, really hard to even find one now. Uh, they don't make them anymore. But it's basically this light, but not rechargeable, and a teensy bit smaller. I have one. I'll show you in a moment. But anyway, so mm, that's the closest competition right there, those two between each other that you can get right now, I would think. So we'll see what those do. Okay, so uh, difference between these two, this has little, little flippers that you can use with your fingers on either side. This has buttons. Now, here's the thing though. You can kick your strobe on with this very, very easily, even left-handed with one hand, very easily. Unfortunately, with the O-lights, you have to push both buttons at the same time. So, I mean, you want to grip with both hands, but, you know, sometimes you might not be able to. That's the O-light. That is a very, very good clean beam TLR <laughs> the light -like beats it wow crisper brighter truer colors <laughs> sponsored by Olight <laughs> No, no, my friend Jim, JC, he he's he loves. I like these. I got a couple of them, but we've always kind of not saw eye to eye on that. I see the I see the benefit of these. Don't get me wrong. And I love them on a pistol, but you throw one, these don't work very well on a rifle. You can throw one of these on a rifle, and it's not a problem. 
which we're getting ready to see. So, yeah, the Olight's definitely, definitely a better beam, but this has definitely easier strobe. Now let's compare the strobes. Ooh. I'm not going to say there's much difference on that. They're, they're both definitely better than the, than the cheap one. Okay. All right. So the Balder Pro is, has an integrated laser in the, uh, in the lens. So yeah, quite a bit bigger. Also rechargeable. I hate the friggin' little green tabs on them. I hate that. Um, Cause it very rarely goes with my build. One time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check these two out. All right, so the Balder Pro has a collar on it that you turn around to access your three modes instead of a switch on the bottom. So, like I say, the, the Balder Pro has a laser coming out, you know, a hole in the middle of the lens with a laser coming out, or it's not in the middle, but so you can actually, you, your light suffers from it. Not that it matters that much, but the beam is so not clean compared to this one. Very clean beam. That's the Balder Pro. I'm sorry, yeah, Balder, and this is the Valkyrie Pro. Look at the difference in how the colors look with those two too. That's crazy. Huh, all right. <laughs> and uh, strobe works the same way. You know, you push both tabs. Well, the Balder strobe is no, like it, it's much dimmer. Wow. Okay. And the Valkyrie definitely wins on that. Definitely. Okay. I've always been a big fan of the Valkyries, but I like the battery one. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so next up, let's try a low pro. So a low pro has a collar on it that you can select. But what the selection does on a low pro is select just your light between strobe, high or low, low they call nav. Um, so the way these work, you cut on your laser and or your light from here. Whichever one you have on cuts off whenever you touch this. If you have both of them on, they both cut off when you touch this. Whenever you touch this again, whatever you had on that was cut off cuts back on. So you can either cut the laser on and just use this for the laser, cut the light on, blah, blah, blah. You get it. It's not rocket surgery. All right. We're going to compare that with the Valkyrie Pro. Yeah. All right. So this is the Valkyrie Pro. So far, my pick. And then this is the <laughs> so the low pros the the low pros better than like your uh, viridian and stuff but definitely not as definitely not as good as Shiro lights wow quite the diff. I'm actually going to double check that battery and make sure it's good. So I thought these were actually a little better than that. 
I love them anyway, though, even if they're not killer bright, because they're just so freaking handy. Because they just sit on the top. You look over them with with any uh, any co-witness height optic. You're gonna clear the top of it. Okay, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to show you, but anyway, they look pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. Well, he kind of blows it out the water as far as brightness goes. But the Valkyrie don't have a laser. <laughs> Okay, so now, and this is how I've got the uh, Green Goblin set up, so. So, uh, this is a Valkyrie Turbo. I bought this because it still uses batteries. Um, this is uh these are neat uh and i'll show you they're they're a very tight beam all right so here's the valkyrie pro that we've been messing with on the glock here is the valkyrie turbo <laughs> check that out it's almost like a laser <laughs> okay that's a long way I mean, that is a tight, tight, tight beam. So, and, and when I say it's almost like a laser, I mean, like, literally in a less lethal kind of situation, this is such a tight beam. When you're close enough to be, like, less lethal, basically, if you light up your target, you're pretty much going to hit it. If you, like, like you know, it, it's pretty neat. Uh, there's no, like, spill at all. Like, none. Um... So it's an interesting light. Uh, is it versatile? Man, not really. Um, but I mean, it's a heck, heck of a spotlight. Very, very tight. Very bright. You do have strobe, but... I mean, you could like, you know, just trying to straight in somebody's window and get them, I guess. I don't know. It's a, it's a very... I don't know. It's neat. I like it that's much more useful for most stuff but uh, a lot of the reason i want to do this video is just to show you guys this. All right, I want to show you guys one more thing real quick before I take it back in. So, I've I've done a couple of videos talking about the bull dot lasers. So, this is a Crimson Trace, which is a really good, really bright green laser. So, there's a Crimson Trace. All right, now here is a bull dot. So, mm, not much difference, right? I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys that on camera. It looks the same. So the one bouncing around is the Crimson Trace. That's the Bulldog. But, like I say, it's just, it's not, it's not going to do it justice on here. Sorry. <laughs> Here's a good way to do it. So you see the first tree here? So that's the crimson trees. All right, and there's the bulldog. Sorry, I wasted your time on all this. <laughs> all right, so 
this is a G series and it's not mounted to anything, but this is one of my absolute favorite lights to put on something that's just, you know, a good, you know, easy button on the back of it. These do have, uh, you know, tape switches you can get for them, but uh, definitely an awesome. And these, these, I like the, uh, I like the Valkyries a lot, but these are tougher. These are definitely tougher than a Valkyrie. Uh, these are a tough, tough light, really tough light. And they're about half the price of a Valkyrie too. So there's a G series Valkyrie. So G series. Back. There we go. Valkyrie. Valkyrie definitely beats it. But the G series, the G series has a like. It, see how the beam is completely uniform. I don't know if it like you can really tell that or not, but like there is literally like no edge to it. See, there is an edge to that. I don't know if it you know comes through on camera as well or not, but. Does that matter? Nope. <laughs> I like lights. I've got a lot of lights, but some people are so stupid about like what matters. Like that one's got like 13% wash, man. What's that going to do? I don't even know what that means, man. So <laughs> Valkyrie's got better colors too. I don't recall the G series being that white. Normally, this is a new one. I almost think they've kind of changed their color temperature a little bit. That is pretty white. All right, that was thrilling. All right, so then now I've got the O light, uh, the Odin, Odin. Um, This might be the, is this the mini? I don't even know. Yeah, this is the mini. All right, so G series. Odin. Oh, wait. Click. <laughs> Pretty familiar looking beam, ain't it? So G series. Olight Odin. Odin G series. G series, the Surefire G series, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. I would still, I would still pick the G series though. If if I was building a duty rifle for somebody who's going to be in the shit, I would put the G series on it. Less lethal home defense. I'd probably put that on it. You're going to be in mud and muck. I'm gonna put that on it for you. You wanna impress your friends by no wash and a brighter beam? There you go. It's the important things in life. That's the Odin G Series. Okay, let's bring the Valkyrie Pro back out and the Odin. That's the Odin Valkyrie Pro. Valkyrie Pro. Odin. Valkyrie Pro. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let's do one more time against uh, the one that you know kind of started this whole thing. The Amazon light. So actually, it does have a name on it. So there you go. Hmm, Swedish company. Valkyrie Pro. Hmm. All right, that's the cheap one. So these are like these are like fifty bucks, and these are like a hundred and forty bucks. Cheap one. Hmm. Cheap one. Valkyrie. I think these Valkyries may be getting a little weak at this point, though. <laughs> All right, 36 freaking minutes. Jeez, guys, come on. What do y'all let me do this for? Like, subscribe, and we'll play with flashlights again sometime. All right, bye.